The Mayor Civility in America Speaker Series continued Tuesday night with Amity Schlaes. The author and syndicated columnist spoke to a crowd at the Ferguson Library about civility in history. I don't think it's fair to say we're uncivil now, and we were civil before. There was a lot of roughness in the United States all down our history. Schley's newest book, Coolidge, is a biography of Calvin Coolidge, the 30th President of the United States. Schley's often referred to Coolidge when speaking about civility. In the case of Coolidge, his civility was built on political trust. He said, if I promise the voters 100, I'm going to deliver 110. And then they'll come to know that I'm a good partner. Unlike Coolidge, Schley says people today tend to promise more than they can provide. She says politicians are more concerned about getting the upper hand than solving a problem. What I'm concerned about specifically is that we don't discuss our issues together civically, that it's sort of one side swipes at the other, especially in the media. Schley's used Social Security reform as an example of this. Social Security is not hard to reform. Democrats and Republicans agree about 70% on the topic, but they, they're unwilling to acknowledge that agreement because they like the fun of swiping at each other. Schley says there would be more civility if people just expected more of each other. It's sort of like a classroom where if you say if everyone shouts loud, they get heard, well then that's what people do. They know they have to shout loud, right? That's it. But if you say everyone try and uh, be a, uh, do what you can and, and be more respectful, then people will. Schley says the future of civility relies on today's youth. The most important thing for civility is that we convey that to our children. To find out more about upcoming speakers, visit StanfordCT.gov. In Stanford, Samantha McKelvey, it's relevant.com.